Hey everybody, we're Keenum Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing from beautiful Belmont Park, Elmont, New York on Sunday, June the 26th. This is my day at the track.com, Naira, New York Racing Association race of the day. Let's take a look at one of two stake races on the card this afternoon, folks. Race 5, 3.36 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the New York Stallion Stakes, the spectacular bid division. Seven furlong sprint on the turf course, three-year-olds race for $100,000. Contenders number six, Silent of Water. Number three, Sudden Surprise. Number one, Cloud Control. And number two, Go Go Lucky. For your information, folks, Spectacular Bid was the leading American two year old in 1978 with his wins included the Champagne Stakes and the Laurel Futurity. In early 1979, his wins included the Kentucky Derby and the Preakness Stakes as he built up a run of 12 consecutive wins. Spectacular Bid's attempt at winning the Triple Crown failed as he sustained a controversial defeat in the Belmont Stakes, recovered from injury to win the Marble. Burrow Cup and confirm his status as the best American cult of his generation. In 1980, racing as a four-year-old spectacular bid was undefeated in nine races, was named American Horse of the Year. Here in the 11th running of the stakes event, number six, Silent Waters, has hit the board in three of his last four, winning twice, including a power run win in his second race back. Number three, Sudden Surprise, his nice early speed abilities to complement for the sprint, has hit the board in three of his last five adventures, winning twice, including a power run win in his second race back. Race five summary, number six, Silent Waters, tops my contenders list today here at Belmont, which also includes number three, Sudden Surprise, number one, Cloud, cloud control and number two, go go lucky six three one two, in the fifth from Belmont Park, the hundred thousand dollar spectacular bid division stakes of the New York Stallion series. Some long shots for you to ponder. Uh, let's go to Pimlico first race seven number eleven dreams cut short six to one in the morning line drops in class by three units the overall speed leader in this claiming field racing at or about today's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the turf Mountaineer Park race six the four to one shot number five street par parade speed figures racing at today's distance of a mile on the dirt which are equivalent to the favorite number two Proust has hit the board in power run fashion in three of his last five including a power run win in his fifth race back. So from Belmont Park on a Sunday as we wrap up another racing week here in New York City, we're seeing them for dayatthetrack.com. Remind you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.